What is going on guys, Coach Show, and in this video we're gonna be covering how to get some big traps and get a thicker neck. So let's go. What is going on guys, Coach Show, your 2019 USS Strongman National Champion in the heavyweight class coming at you with a video about how to get some bigger traps and a thicker neck. But if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. And just check out all the other videos on the channel. We have tons of strongman content, strength training, conditioning, Olympic lifting, power lifting, you name it, lots of tips and tricks taking you along for the journey. But like I said, what we're gonna do is keep this video short, sweet, to the point, covering my top exercises that I personally love to do to get a bigger upper back trap area, some shoulders, and increase my neck size a little bit. And we all know if you have a big neck and big traps, you automatically get intimidation points. Now I do wanna say before we get into this that I didn't have massive and huge traps growing up as a kid. See this picture right here, pathetic. And I still don't have the biggest traps and neck, but they have substantially increased over time. And in this specific training block for the next few months, I've been focusing on increasing my traps and my upper back because of Strongman Nationals that I will be competing in in the future, as well as doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's really good to have a stronger upper back, neck and traps, especially uh, in the positions that you will be going through during Jiu Jitsu or competition. So to paint the picture when it comes to traps, just a couple points. Most people, when they think of traps, think upper traps. However, if you're really trying to get that bigger, thicker look, especially in the neck trap shoulder area, you're gonna have to focus on the upper, mid, and lower trap muscles as well. Some other muscles you wanna hit is gonna be the levator scapula, as well as all the heads of the deltoid. So if you kind of work on all those muscles, it's really gonna fill out your frame and make you look and feel a lot bigger. So don't just focus on doing upper trap work all the time. It's something that I see and something that I was guilty of. So we wanna focus on the whole big picture here, guys. So movement number one, which is obviously gonna be strongman biased, is gonna be farmer walks. Now at some point in your career as a strongman, you will be doing farmer carries in an event and typically it's gonna be for shorter distances. So anywhere from uh, 50 feet to max, probably 100 feet. However, what I like to do, especially when I'm away from competition, is increase the distance. So I wanna get more time under tension. So I'll stick to typically around anywhere from 75 to 85% of my carrying weight, and I'll do this for anywhere from four to six sets. And like I said, I'm gonna go a little bit longer, so I'll probably go maybe 100, 150 feet, uh, just so I am getting that time under tension. And this is gonna help increase your upper back and your traps substantially. I also like these a lot because they keep me feeling athletic. And if you guys have been following the channel for a long time, you know that I'm all about staying athletic, especially in the sport of strongman. I think that's a big advantage in the sport and it just makes you feel good. Uh, and I like to keep that element of my training. All right, so movement number two, guys, is gonna be the trap bar shrug. Now, I know a lot of you guys do barbell shrugs. However, I've been a huge fan of the trap bar specifically because of having a wider grip. And there was a recent article that came out talking about muscle activation and trying to activate the traps more uh, by having a slightly wider grip is gonna give you upward scapular rotation. And for trying to grow size in, in the traps, I find that these are hitting my traps a lot more than the standard barbell shrugs. Uh, so maybe give them a go and see how you enjoy them. Another benefit of this is it actually mimics uh, the frame carry that you would use in Strongman. So I kind of like getting that added effect for being a little bit more sports specific for myself. In terms of reps and sets, I love doing anywhere from three to five sets uh, working in that 10 to 15 rep range. Uh, specifically for more hypertrophy stuff, I'm gonna use these in that training block. All right guys, tip number three is gonna be rear delt dumbbell or cable flies. Now what I had talked about before was how most people focus on the upper trap when they think building their traps. However, what I think is neglected is actually building the shoulders out and more importantly, the rear delts. A lot of you guys are probably hitting the anterior part of your deltoid or even the outsides of your delts, but we really wanna focus on those rear delts to give you that cap look to your shoulders. Now, if you build that out, I'm sure your traps are gonna stand out even more. You can also train the frequency a lot more with a smaller muscle group like your shoulder. So typically I'm hitting shoulders three, even four days a week, and I'm doing this exercise multiple times throughout the week. 
So the last one on my list, number four, before we get into some neck training, is going to be face pulls. I've been doing face pulls ever since I was a young lad, and I really feel like that they have helped build my upper back uh, over time. So kind of making those rear delts pop like we had just talked about, building those traps out, uh, and just overall shoulder health and shoulder stability. In terms of reps and sets, love doing three to four sets. Upward uh, numbers here, we're talking 12 to 15 reps. You know, that seems to be the sweet spot for me. Everybody's gonna be a little bit different, but typically for a smaller movement like this, especially during a hypertrophy block, I'm gonna increase that volume of this movement. Okay, so lastly, I have neck training. So I wanna address training the neck. Now, typically for most people, I would say that you don't need to do neck training, okay? You don't need to use a neck harness or anything of that nature. However, for me specifically, since I've been way more involved with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and combat sports, I do think that there's a benefit if you are that athlete to build your neck to be stronger, to be able to absorb more force, especially being in those awkward positions when you are grappling or when you are taking blows and doing MMA. So building the neck as strong as possible is definitely going to benefit those athletes. Like I said, if you're not in a combat sport, I think by doing all the other exercises that you do is gonna build a well-developed and strong neck. However, combat sport athletes wanna have just a slightly stronger neck because of the specificity of the sport. So for myself, I love doing these basic exercises for all different angles of my neck, just grabbing a plate, kind of doing some different head rotations on different angles. So we're gonna do anywhere from 10 to 12 reps, you know, three to four sets. Uh, do this maybe once or twice throughout the week, as well as all the grappling that I get in. Just like anything else, you wanna make sure that you steadily increase the dose over time. Don't just hop into extreme neck training. Okay, you're gonna have a very sore neck. Okay, it's gonna be pretty painful. So we don't wanna do that. We wanna give a small dose, get used to that, adapt to it, and then slowly increase the frequency and the volume over time. So that would be my only little tidbit for the neck training. Other athletes that may benefit a little bit from neck training are gonna be rugby players, football players, anywhere where there could be potential neck trauma. Okay, the bigger and stronger we can get that neck, the more force that it can absorb uh, and keep us safe and healthy. Now, on top of all these other exercises, the big ones that I didn't mention are the ones that you should be doing regardless. So we're talking deadlifts, barbell rows, overhead press work, all of those movements and their accessories or variations are gonna help build bigger, stronger traps and a thicker neck. However, I wanted to give you guys my favorite ones that I've been doing lately within this block to help me prep for future strongman events that are coming up as well as being competitive in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Interested to hear your guys' input on what's helped you build big traps and a bigger neck. Do you guys do neck specific training? Do you not? Let me know down below in the comments section, uh, but that's pretty much all I have. So make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell one more time so we can stay up to date with all the great videos that are coming out. Really appreciate your guys' support. Make sure you check out the Iron Lions Facebook group, free strength community, tips, tricks, articles, advice, 100% at your disposal, but it's a great community. Uh, Iron Lions Facebook group, check it out. Until then, stay a lean, mean, strength machine, and I'll catch up with you next time, guys. Peace.